Oscar time, 2012. Yeah, best picture. As a class of movies, I, I, this does not, these movies do not thrill me. I just sort of feel like the voting has sort of taken some of the some of the popular fun out of out of the nominees. Right, so the I new like voting rules result in in voters really putting as number one the movie that they really want to lead with and, and that makes them look good as voters These are necessarily, yes. not necessarily the best movie right. of the year. These are sort of, for the most part, nine conscientious mm -hmm. choices. Right. Here are our nominees. The nominees are Hugo, uh, The Artist, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, War, War Horse, Horse Moneyball, The Tree of Life, Midnight in Paris, Midnight in Paris, The Help, and The Descendants. And The Descendants. The so what's picture. what's in this envelope? So that is the movie that I think should win of and the nine movies. Wesley thinks Tree of Life should yeah, win. I think The Tree of Life should Why? win. Why? Um, I just feel like it is a movie that, despite its problems, I mean, it's not a perfect movie. Perfect. It's a movie that is sort of that is built. To last. And it's also the one movie of these nine that really comes from personal passion. Yes. I'm going to open your envelope. Okay. And I, the I movie can't I, imagine what it's going to be. The movie I think should win Best Picture is Hugo. Hugo. And here's why I think it actually may get skunked, uh, you know, partially because the artist is a runaway train, but I also think that the voting members of the Academy get a lot of these, see a lot of these movies on screener discs, on DVDs that are yes. sent to them. And if you don't see this movie in a big theater with the 3D, you're missing a lot of the magic. I think that may crimp its chances just a little bit more than, than otherwise. So that's Best Picture. I'm Wesley Morris. I'm Ty Burr for the Boston Globe.